us as youths, you know, we have got a lot of questions. You see, we have got a lot of minerals. We have got a lot of wealth. But a lot of people are poor in the midst of wealth. This is the error which we must correct. Being poor in the midst of wealth. Being poor in the midst of riches. Being poor in a country which is worth trillions of dollars. First, before we even go in, what you must understand is you can be a citizen of this country and yet be the poorest. You can be a citizen of this country and yet be the poorest. Until you get... You see, you have to make up your mind to say, I am going to have my share of the cake of this country. Because the minerals of this country, it's a cake. A table has been laid before us. And I'm telling you, if you are a citizen and you decide to just fold your hands and say, oh no, I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about, 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 about the, uh, the mining industry. I don't want to question the monetary policy which the government has, has implemented. I know, you know, there are these things that are just for politicians. Oh, are these things, as it's just like this. If you choose to fold your hands, don't be surprised if you don't, if other people t- eat your share. Make up your mind. That the share, my share in the wealth of this country, no, no foreigner, no one is going to eat my share. You make up your mind like that. The share of the wealth of this country, oh my God, I am taking it. You make up your mind like that. If you make up your mind like that, I'm telling you, automatically, you are going to develop interest in understanding how does the mining industry work how does what does it mean when the government say oh we have we have increased monetary policy by 10 percent what is the impact in my on my on my life because whatever it is that is happening around you let me tell you something you are not immune to the happenings around you 